The Alkir Desert Dolmen Run is arguably ESO's most popular XP farm, with anywhere from tens to even hundreds of people running depending on the time of day. But why are so many people running this? And if we break down the mass behind the run, is it even good XP? We'll answer all of these questions and break down the math used step by step in this video. You're just ruining it. You're ru look at my lips. You're ruining it. For the people who just want a quick yes or no answer, no. No matter which level you are in ESO, from complete beginner to veteran with 50 characters, the Dolmen farm is always going to net you less XP per hour than from other sources. You can negate this with XP boosters, but realistically, why would you do that instead of just doing the better farm? And they've just clicked off the video. <sighs> well, to everyone else who stayed behind, let's get into the details of how much XP this farm earns you. When looking into this farm, I heard a lot of people doing bad calculations. They would say something like, well, each dolmen fight takes me an average of one minute to do, so this means I can roughly do 60 runs in an hour. This is flawed, because this ignores the time spent travelling, which, as you will see later, adds up to quite a lot. So, how did I do it? Well, I recorded myself doing 10 dolmen runs, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but it is good enough for calculating this due to how little each run varies from the others. Once finished, I went through the recording and found everything that consistently happened during a dolmen run. I put these things into five categories. The first was the TP load screen. This is the time that we spent in the loading screen after teleporting from one way shrine to another. The second was the travel to the dolmen which are the time spent from getting from the Way Shrine to the Dolmen. The third was the battle time, which is how long it took to complete the Dolmen, which ends as soon as the chest spawns. The fourth is the travel to the TP, which is how long it took to travel from the Dolmen back to the Way Shrine. And then the fifth was time spent in map, which is how long it took me to find and click on the next Dolmen Way Shrine in the map. I tracked all of these over the 10 runs, then calculated the average of each category, added up the averages, and we got our average total runtime. If this sounds complicated, it really isn't. I'm just terrible at writing scripts. So, now I've explained the how, I quickly just want to explain some other things. The character I was using at the time was level 28. I don't have access to a higher level character, so I can't do this run for a higher level character. I did try to speak to some higher level players during the run to see how much XP they were getting and also what level they were, but it all varied too much for me to even do some basic back of the napkin math. I do plan on doing a revision to this video once I am a higher level character though, so stay tuned. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, or maybe you just left the video running by accident and can't turn it off right now. Either way, let's get into the numbers. The average total run time for a dolmen over the 10 runs I did was 116 seconds or 1 minute 56 seconds. It breaks down like so. The average TP load screen was about 3 seconds or roughly 2% of the average run time. The travel to the dolmen, which was roughly 20 seconds or 17% of the average run time. The battle time was on average 68 seconds, or 1 minute 8 seconds, which is roughly 58% of the average run time. The travel back to the TP, 23 seconds on average, roughly 19% of the average run time. And the time spent in map, 3 seconds, also roughly 2% of the average run time. I didn't mention this earlier, but the numbers reflected here are if you don't open the chest, but instead instantly run to the way shrine as soon as the chest spawns. If you do stop to get the chest, your numbers will probably be higher. I was also keeping track of the average XP for completing the dolmen. This isn't factoring in the extra XP that you get for killing mobs, as most of the time they were dying too quickly for me to even get a hit off. The average XP for my level 28 character was 1,640 XP per run. Since there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, we divide that by our average run time, or 116 seconds, which comes out to 31.034. Rounding that down, since we can't have 0.034 of a run, means that we can do an average of 31 runs in an hour, which is actually pretty good. Now we just take our 31 runs and multiply that by 1,640, or the average XP per run, which gives us the grand total of 50,840 XP per hour. This may sound like a lot, but it wouldn't even be enough XP to get me from level 28 to level 29. To put it another way, if you gave a level 1 character that amount of XP, it would get them to the grand total of level 13. 
And this isn't even possible as XP rewards are tied directly to your level. As I said earlier, I couldn't do this with a higher level character, however I wouldn't be surprised if the XP rewards would even get them halfway to the next level. So in conclusion, is ESO's most popular farm even that good? Uh, maybe. For the average person, no, but it all depends on how much you enjoy doing these runs. I personally found them extremely taxing and would much rather go out and complete some cool quests, however my opinion isn't gospel. If you're someone who enjoys doing these, then by far it is the best XP farm in the game, because maybe the real XP farms are the memories you made along the way. I hate myself. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in seeing me ruin more games with useless calculations, subscribe and leave a like to help me farm YouTube XP. I've been me, you've been you, and this ESO farm has just been ruined by maths. Maths, 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 maths. <laughs>